Okay, so I've gotten a lot of questions about how to make this hole right here uh, on this, uh, the head part of this uh, scriber, um, or the marking gauge. So that, that hole right there, if we go up here, we're looking, we see that in this assembly that this, this knurled screw is going to go down into that part right there. Well, it tells us right here this is a 1032 uh, UNC 2A by 5.5 uh, long that goes into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that a 1032 thread. All right, so let's go, we'll look at this. And I already have it in this drawing, but it was one of the last things I did. So I'm going to go to that work plane and I'm going to delete it. Okay, so back in this part right here, this uh, diameter is 1.12 across from face to face. And we're trying to draw on that surface right up there at the very top. So to do that, we're going to go to uh, this plane right through the middle, click on the new plane, and we're going to drag, click, click on new plane, oops, click on new plane, and we're going to drag that up, and we're going to go up 1.12 divided by 2. All right, so that gets it so it is, if we click on that, you're right on that quadrant point, which is what we want to do. Okay, so then we'll right click on here, click new sketch, and uh, we'll go ahead and put in a point. I'm going to draw a point right there. Just kind of sketch it in. It's not fully constrained yet, uh, but it's there. Uh, but I will do this. I'm going to do a vertical constraint. I need to constrain that point to that center point, whether it's vertical or horizontal or whatever. You need to constrain it to your origin point. And then all according to this, it's 0.5 from the front surface here to there. So when we go back to here, we'll put a dimension on that goes from here to there. All right, so that is going to be 0.5. All right, so that's in place. We'll finish that sketch. Then when you click the hole command, it automatically tries to put this in. What you want to do is go to, the, to click on this to make sure you get a tapped hole right there. So when that's checked, this will pop up down here, and you're going to be, go in here, and a lot of times it starts down here somewhere, and you're going to come up, you're going to look for a number 10 because it was a number 10 uh, screw, a 1032. And we're going to change this to 1032 here. So that's a 1032. And the distance, you can either put the distance as 1.12 divided by 2, uh, again, if you wanted to do that there, or you can click 2 and click that surface right there, and it should work. Okay? So it's one of those two options. When you click OK, it makes that a threaded hole, which is exactly what you want. So for the future, you might want to just go in and check, right click and uncheck your visibility, but that's what you do. All right? That's how you make that 1032 hole in that, on that round surface.